So I did a Mickey and Minnie Mouse painting for a local elementary school. And so on this video, I'm gonna show you how I did it. So enjoy the process and let's get right to it. So I'm starting off this painting by painting the background. Um, I'm using yellow, having it transition to orange, uh, then red, purple, and blue. And I like doing that because they all kind of connect to the next color, so it blends very well. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe right now and click that bell for notifications. Uh, so now I'm airbrushing some white in there because I wanted to kind of rearrange where the colors are, so I needed to make it a little bit more white. Um, to, so that the yellow could stand out more on top of that and then also I painted um, I'm using uh, the airbrush to paint white where I wanted some better transitions between the colors I didn't want the hard lines there so I just went back uh, airbrush those white then airbrush the color that I wanted over that and now you see I airbrush some um, some white uh, circles onto it just to give that background a little bit more lift give it a little bit more um, of, of uh, some variation there so once I did that I drew in the characters Mickey and Minnie um, and then now I'm painting those in so now you're seeing um, I'm painting in uh, different shades of that black for the top of Mickey's head um, just so that you get the idea of uh, some distance some lighting uh, just some variation there and now I'm uh, painting in his t-shirt on this I'm giving him a t-shirt because as I said it's a painting for uh, an elementary school and so I want them to wear t-shirts that represent that elementary school so I'm painting some uh, dark values and some lighter values on Mickey's pants or on Mickey's shorts here. And you get those dark values and light values, it helps uh, give distance and shape. I got a little bit of uh, that uh, light on, the, on Mickey's knee right there too. And on the tail, and now to the to the glove, the hand, uh, his right hand. And for this painting, this is actually the first painting that I used a um, an additive to acrylic paint, and it was uh, the purpose of the additive was to make it uh, 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 slow down the drying time and make it uh, able to blend better because that's usually my issue with acrylic paint is it's so hard to blend and then you, you're on such a, a short time because it dries really fast well on this one I use this additive uh, the name of the additive slips my mind right now but um, I just mixed it in with the paint and um, while it was on my plate that I that I poured the paint onto and it was and it just uh, kept it from drying really fast so I was able to bring in those colors without uh, having to rush on that and then they were also able to blend a lot better so you can see I'm, uh, there's some light tones and darker tones on Mickey's face here that uh, give you the uh, impression of distance and that his nose is going forward And now I'm coloring in his shoes. I had to start off with a white, like a white with a, I started off with a little bit of yellow first and then uh, I could see the, the blue was showing underneath his shoes. So the background was showing underneath it because that yellow is not a real thick color. Um, so I wanted to uh, make that yellow stand out. So I painted it white first, then put the yellow over it. Now you can see I'm getting some of the shadow in there for the shoes I'm using a burnt umber color mixed with yellow to get the shadows on the shoes. And with an acrylic paint pen, I'm writing in Ben Lemon Elementary. So 
So now on to mini. And it's the same idea where there's uh, the ears in the and the top of her head. It's not going to be a f uh, just black. It, I put a little variation there uh, for the shadow to, so that you can see some distance. I'm painting her feet. And the, and the idea here is I use, um, I paint in all the spots that are black while that black paint is still wet. And now I'm painting in, uh, trying to paint in everything that's white and then use some of that leftover black for the shadow on the white. And this is all kind of timed so that the paint doesn't dry on me. I'm painting her glove, started out with a gray and then put the white over it. There's different techniques to do that. Uh, you could either start with uh, painting it white and then, and then bring in the gray on the edges and where you need that shadow, uh, try to blend it there, or you could paint it all just the darker color and then go over with the highlight color as you move on. Now adding her skin tone to, uh, to her face. And you can see because there's a uh, the skin tone is going to be a mixture of white, yellow, and red, mostly white with uh, a a little bit of yellow, very little bit of red because you don't want that red to dominate. And because the base color there is white, uh, it covers over the background very well, a lot better than yellow does. I'm getting the details in the mouth area, so I'm finishing up the face. I usually leave her uh, eyelashes for last, so you'll see that done uh, towards the very end here. I like to make sure everything's dry before I do the eyelashes because they're so detailed. Like I have to get the line so so uh, so fine there that I I like. To that last now the dress and the bow up top so you can see I did an initial uh, light to dark color on the bow and on the dress before I put the dots in there now as I put the dots in there I make sure to, to put a little variation of uh, color on those dots so you can see some shadow and then also um, you can see I'm darkening up that upper part of the dress and lightened up the front of it and now I'm working on her shoes and it's a mixture of a light purple with a medium purple and then some dark uh, purple for the shadows. And now the dots on the on the bow. I'm getting in the rest of that. Adding a little bit of shadow there. And now her eyelashes and here it is Mickey and Minnie Mouse if you like the video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and click that bell for notifications and uh, also don't forget to um, comment leave a comment and uh, share the video so thanks for watching